it's a beautiful day, but that is about to change. So I need to get out here into this garden. I need to transplant a couple of little fruit trees that I have. And I need to plant some seeds in some of my seed boxes. So that is what I'm gonna do. I picked up, this is a pomegranate, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just gonna up pot it into a bigger pot because I'm not quite ready to plant it yet. And I don't know how well it will do in this pot if I leave it for a long time. So I need to up pot that. And then I bought these. Um, I've never heard of these. They're called honeyberries and they come in Mr. Honeyberry and Mrs. Honeyberry. And the thing about these uh, is that you need both a male and a female plant. I guess you don't need it, but for better production, it says to have, uh, be sure to plant one Mrs. with one Mr. for best fruit production and pollination. So I got a Mr. and a Mrs. It's sort of like a blueberry, but it's not a blueberry. So I'm gonna give these a shot. Uh, I am gonna up pot these as well. Um, because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these. I may just leave them in the pot, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to amend some of the soil that is inside these pots. And then I'm going to put these in there. And then I'm also going to do some radishes and beets in some of these empty planter boxes. So I'm just going to loosen some of the soil up in here. And then I'm going to add some compost and some perlite and some cocoa core mix so that it can absorb and hold water. Just kind of on the top layer here and mix that in. I don't need this to be all the way full with dirt because I'm just going to tuck it in there. This is probably a temporary home. Mrs. Gooseberry and it says female right there too. And I always like to just kind of loosen up the roots a little bit before I pot them up just like that. One down, two to go. This pot right here has ants living in it. Um, I don't think it'll be a problem. I kind of did a little bit of research and it said they're not really going to bother the plant. Um, but I don't think that they're going to last right here because I actually took this pot from somewhere else. And so I probably disturbed their, the main part of their home. But they're in there and they're probably going to be crawling all over me. But again, I'm just going to come in here and just kind of loosen up the soil. All right, now that that's done, I am going to use this box here to grow my uh, radishes and put some beets in here. I'm just gonna take out the roots. I had my nasturtium in here, uh, so the roots are still in here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna come in here and loosely, or loosen up the soil so that I can plant some stuff. And if you're new at gardening, radishes are probably one of the easiest and quickest things that you can grow if you like radishes. They grow really fast. Uh, and I like them, I think they're good. But I've heard that people, a lot of people don't like radishes, but what they will do is they will take their radishes and I guess that you can roast them in the oven and it actually changes the flavor profile or how they taste. 
and people enjoy them that way. I have never done that, so I cannot speak on that, but I just like to pick out a radish from the garden, toss some salt on it, and eat it. I like them. That looks good. So I'm gonna do half beets, half radishes in here. And beet seeds are actually um, in a pod and there's about three or four actual seeds per pod. So one seed pod should produce multiple plants. That is what they look like and inside there there's quite a few little seeds. So you only need to plant one per hole. And then for my radishes, I'm just gonna mix them because I have a couple of different kinds. So I'm just sort of gonna spread them in here. Uh, or actually, you know what I'll do is I'll just, I'll kind of come in here in rows. I'll do three rows. And then each row will have a different variety of radish. You can get some radishes that are like 25 days, which means it takes 25 days from seeding until they're mature enough to eat. And radish seeds are pretty big too, but I'm just gonna come in here and grab a little pinch and just go in with about well, one seed if I can. About an inch apart or so, I don't know. And then once that's done, I'm just gonna take the, the soil and just pinch it back over top of those seeds. All right, we'll see what happens in a couple of days. So it's been, oh, uh, I don't know, maybe a week and a half since I planted the artichoke seeds and they are just now starting to pop up. Uh, I don't have anything popping up on any of my other stuff. But, artichoke, artichokey, artichoke. These are not. Artichoke, under this mound is an artichoke, and an artichoke. And then these are um, bee balm flowers. I think these two are kind of starting to sprout. You can see little babies popping up in here. And like I said, nothing over here yet besides a bunch of ants that have found their way over here because the heat I think they like it because of the heat from this mat there is that and we have been getting a lot of rain the last couple of days and I haven't been down to check my pond or my creek so I thought I would take you along let's go check it out I think I hear water but I'm not 100% sure so my peaches, my plum, don't judge. Still haven't cleaned that up. So it looks like the pond is full and full of debris from runoff, it looks like. Yep, so there's a pond right there, and then the water goes underneath the dam here, and it flows out over there. It's not running as much as it has in the past, so depending on if we get more rain, this will, this whole like area right here will just be a runoff, and then there's a bigger pond over there that we've actually kayaked in last year, because there was a lot of water so 
that's my backyard pond. Might not be the prettiest, but it's mine. So I know that we just went down and checked out the pond, but it's dark now because you can't see me. But I want you to hear how loud the frogs are. So listen. So the frogs are absolutely deafening. And I would much rather hear them than the sound of traffic.